Hi guys, it's Marie and Janelle here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the third edition River Boot by Devlin. I wanted to make this review to give you my experience with these boots and also to talk about body types with boots. Typically, models are small people with very thin legs, so if you were a thick-legged equestrian with thick calves, it is very hard to find a pair of boots or breeches that will look as good on you as they do on a thin-legged model. This review isn't just for thick leg girls. I'm going to be talking to you about this Dublin boot, how I like them, how they're holding up, and if I recommend that you buy them or not. But in addition, I will be showing you how they look on me, a thick leg girl. Let's get to it. First off, I absolutely love these boots. I love how rugged they look now. They are extremely comfortable. They kind of mold to your foot as you wear them. I would say that they stretch a decent amount so you don't want to size up because as you wear them, they will stretch. So they're not gonna stretch too much, but just the perfect amount. They are waterproof, which is a must for us equestrians. They also come in a wide calf, which is awesome. But before you order the wide calf, try the regular because the regular work for me. But it is so nice that they do give that option. I feel like it opens it up to a wider range of people. So love that Dublin, thanks for doing that, appreciate it. I appreciate this boot because I'm kind of like a one and done girl and this boot is great for everything. Obviously it's waterproof so you can muck in it, mud proof up to here. <laughs> um, but one of the greatest things is it's gonna keep you warm too so it's not like wearing a rain boot. It's gonna keep you nice and warm in these winter months, dry, and then also this boot fits into stirrups. So it's not like a muck boot where you have to switch it out. This is like a one and done kind of boot, which for me is perfect. I am mostly a trail rider and I keep my horse in a pasture. So I'm constantly doing a lot of muddy, gross chores. So I wear it for that and then I just jump in the saddle and they fit perfectly. So there's no like hang time where I'm changing. I would say this is better for a colder climate. If you, I did wear these year round, but here on San Juan Island, it doesn't get higher than 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's not like a hot weather boot. You'd get pretty sweaty if you wore them probably in 100 degrees. So definitely more of like a fall, winter, spring boot, but you're gonna get a lot of use out of them in those colder months. So 10 months in, loving these boots until one day I went to take them off and the entire sole and the lining of the boot came out with my foot. I honestly felt like a tragedy happened in my life because these are my one and done boots, so now what? Like I said before, I'm a one and done kind of girl, so when you lose your one and only, it is a tragedy. Now, mind you, I had these for only 10 months and at about $200, I was kind of wondering, mm, if that's worth it because I don't work at a barn I just wear these recreationally to do my own barn chores and go riding in so at two hours a day for only 10 months I'm not sure about that so I went without for a few weeks I did the whole rain boot to Ariat riding boot and toting around two pairs of boots was just not for me also the rain boot didn't help keep my feet warm and the Ariat boots didn't keep my feet dry so I wasn't about that. So I did a thing that I normally wouldn't do. I gave Dublin a second chance. And I bought the exact same pair on sale for $175, so I did get a little bit of a deal. The exact same pair, guys. The exact same pair. Oh. I ain't no fool. This isn't the exact same pair. Let's pause for a moment. You might be wondering, if they only lasted you 10 months, why in the world would you order them a second time? Hmm. You bring up a very compelling argument. Good question. After doing the whole multiple boot thing and missing my one and dones, I just thought it was worth it for me. So I'm hoping that this one was a fluke and this one holds up a lot longer. The only thing that I can think of as to why my last boots actually broke would be the boot jack. Is there another way though? If you can't use the boot jack, I'm out of options because um, these guys get a little uh, moist. I hate that word, but you get what I'm saying. There ain't no way these babies coming off without a boot jack. Anyways, we're giving them another shot because, you know, I'm 
making less money, right? It just grows on trees and I'm like a huge YouTuber and make tons of money that it's like no big deal. Silliness aside, I am really hoping that my old boots were just a fluke and that these new boots are going to hold up a lot longer. I would like to get a year and a half of use out of a pair of boots that costs about $200. Let me know if that's a good expectation. Maybe I am totally crazy and I have too high of expectations for my boots. So let me know if I'm crazy. Um, but yeah, I'd like to get at least a year and a half to two years out of a pair of boots like these. Should you buy these boots? Maybe. I'm actually very sorry that I cannot give you a definitive answer. I love these boots, obviously, which is why I bought a second pair and I'm giving them a second try. Um, but I cannot necessarily say that, yes, you should do this. You should buy them. But I also can't say no because obviously I just bought my second pair. It's up in the air. If you are okay with spending $200 every 10-ish months, maybe year, then definitely. These boots are amazing. You should definitely do that. But if you're not, I don't really have another option for you or another recommendation for a boot that will hold up longer. As soon as I do, I will let you know and I will let you know how these ones hold up and if they hold up longer or if maybe 10 months is just the average lifespan for a Devlin boot. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this review helped you either steer you towards the Dublin boots or away from it, depending on what your equestrian needs are and your budget is. I'll see you all next Tuesday.